Hello students, this is the first chapter of physics in your syllabus which is motion. Now this is a term which is practically available around you every side. For example, motion of a particle, motion of an object, motion of a person, motion of bus, car, train, motion of earth, motion of other planets, motion of sun and other stars, everywhere you will find that motion is existent in its place. So what exactly is motion? First of all, if we have to define that this marker is in motion, what would it mean? Suppose I stick it with a double tape on this board, it will be at rest, right? Now, how would I define it at rest? Before defining something in motion, I have to define it what exactly is rest, right? So if I have to define that object is at rest, what can I say about it? That it is not moving or it is not moving with respect to what? With respect to surrounding? The basic thing with which we have to measure motion will be a physical quantity which keeps changing every time in this universe which is a time. So motion or rest will be defined with reference to time. So this thing if, if this object is at rest that means it is not changing its position with respect to time. And if something is in motion that means this is changing its position with respect to time. Simple. Surrounding is not exactly considered as a physical nature of describing motion or uh, motion or rest. Why? So because see for uh, suppose both of us like you and me we are driving in a car. You are driving your car I am driving my car right. Now if I am defining motion or rest with respect to surrounding consider the statement an object will be at rest if it is not changing its position with respect to surrounding right. Though this is a wrong statement but we are just explaining it why this is wrong. Now, both of us are driving in the cars like this on a road parallelly with same speed. Alright. You are also at 60 km per hour. I am also at 60 km per hour. Now you watch me from your window that this person is driving and after 10 minutes again you saw me and I am still at the same position with respect to you. But according to surrounding on earth, I have moved but according to your surrounding, I am still at the same position that is why surrounding is not considered as a proper reference or frame of reference for describing motion or rest. So motion is very simple thing when something changes its position with respect to time. Now motion could be very complex as well as very simple as well. For example, simple motions could be watch the motion of an object or a car which is moving by your side from in front of your house in front of your school motion of a bus these are simple motions where you can actually see the movement of the particle but sometime if the motion is to be considered for example earth is also in motion right now but you can't see the motion you can't feel the motion right for example uh, when wind is blowing so you can't see the motion of wind but you can just feel it or you can see it by the reference of you take some dust particles in your hand, drop it, you will see the motion of those dust particles and according to that you will tell that wind is in motion. So motions could be simple as well as complex. Moreover, motions could be relative as well. Relative means as I just gave you an example of two cars driving side by side. So motion of one with respect to another. So there are n number of examples with relate to motion. So now we will start studying about motion but before we do so, we will talk about reference point. Now what is reference point? This is the initial point or the origin from which an object starts its motion. Initial point or the origin from which the object starts its motion. For example, a body starting from rest, a body starting from rest from his house. So the reference point would be house. So I'll take the house to be the origin this would be my origin and after that doesn't matter where it goes. It goes 10 kilometers north, it goes 30 kilometers west, whatever, right? So that point will be my origin and from this point I'll start measuring its distance, speed, velocity, etc. So reference point is the origin point or the point from which the object starts its motion.